Tens of thousands of years ago, humans from the Neolithic period decorated the walls of rock shelters with paintings of both wild and domestic animals and humans at a prehistoric site called Las Gil in the rocky landscape of Somaliland. Their work of art, now estimated to be over 10,000 years old, continues to attract global attention. The caves provide a glimpse into the best kept secret of the de facto state of Somaliland. Despite the history of Somaliland's political instability and civil war, among other factors, the paintings remain intact, retaining their clear outlines and vivacious colors, and are thought to be among the best and oldest preserved rock paintings in the Horn of Africa. Safi Godanamamo recently visited Las Gil site in Somaliland and tells us of the mysterious treasure of this part of the Horn of Africa. Hidden in the wilderness, 55 kilometers out of Hargeisa, the capital city of the de facto state of Somaliland, is an outcrop of an ancient rock paintings thought to be from one of the world's oldest pastoral traditions and believed to be some of the most vivid rock art in Africa. Sitting hundreds of meters above the sea level, the site is remarkably preserved, perhaps due to the location of the paintings, which are covered by the granite overhangs. The ancient rock paintings were discovered in November and December of 2002 by a French team of researchers who were on a mission to conduct an archaeological survey in Somaliland. While searching for rock shelters and caves that contained archaeological sediments in an effort to document the historical period, when production economy appeared in this part of Africa, they discovered the ancient Las Gil caves and their treasures. The caves of Las Gil lie in an area encompassing a nomadic village, the Naso Hablud Hills, overlooking a wide space of countryside where nomads graze their livestock. Locals knew of the existence of the place for centuries, but avoided it because of rumors that it was haunted by demons and evil spirits. 33-year-old Omar Daoud is the chief guide responsible for this site. He was appointed by Somaliland's Ministry of Culture and Tourism to guide it as it is now considered a protected area. He was born and brought up in this area but also got professional training from archaeologists through the Somaliland government. This prehistoric cave paintings beautifully and stunningly preserved dates back to over 10,000 years ago and the locals here call it Las Gil translating to where once giraffes and camels used to water from. The paintings depict mostly animals, both wild and domestic. As is a tradition here, for the sole purpose of preserving the paintings, no one, including Daoud, is allowed to touch the paintings. He can only point using his stick. The most frequently illustrated animal in this rock art paintings is the cow. Some are just schematic outlines, while others are painted very elaborately, with radiant neck stripes decorated with what looks like traditional fabrics and ceremonial robes. The most distinctive feature of these cows is their embellished rectangular necks that are usually wide. Some are blank or with red and white stripes that could either be straight or wavy. The paintings have not faded over the years. Daoud tells us that the elements used in these paintings were a mix of ingredients from animal milk, rocks, and glue-like substance from trees, among others. But research is still being done to figure out what exactly was used to preserve the paintings for all those years. They would mix those ingredients and expose them to the sun to get the right pigmentation. Ancient humans of the area are shown raising their hands and worshipping cows with large shaped horns as shown in these paintings. A few tiny hunters are also seen running amongst the herds. Some had spears possibly used for hunting or for combat with enemies. In this particular painting, a man with six fingers is seen raising his hands as if in a worship posture, suggesting some kind of religion that the dwellers of this place believed in.
Beside him is a dog that nomads are believed to have kept for their security. And for now. Aside from the rock paintings, the shape and the height of the caves tell a unique story. The people of these caves were believed to be extremely tall, about 5 to 6 meters, and this can be measured almost accurately by the height of these caves. You can tell the civilization started here with paintings, then to rock carvings as shown in these finger and footprints. This cave looks like the interior of a building. This wide area could be mistaken for a conference hall. It's designed in a way that depicts sitting arrangements with polished rocks that were probably used as benches by the elders. From the research done by archaeologists, it was actually concluded that this area was a meeting hall for the ancient dwellers of this region. The meeting room used to be extended all the way to the rocks down the hill and it had only one entrance. Next to the meeting hall, the paintings are a bit darker and the rocks have the setup of a room with rocks appearing to have been arranged higher than the other in a double-decker kind of shape. According to Daoud, archaeologists actually believe this section to be the king's chamber. <laughs> there are also these circular permanent carved patterns on the cave ceiling engraved in the rocks. The carvings of the roof were just for decoration purposes. Wonders of Las Gale never cease to amaze us as this tree dangling from the rock ceiling grows from the rock downward as opposed to from the roots upward and the locals here even have a song for it. The herders and wild animals point to the interglacial period when the now arid horn of Africa region was lush and green and home to many wild animals like giraffe and elephants seen in some of the paintings here. Possibly the reason why Hargeza is also known as elephant's footpath. In recent years, the last Gale rock paintings have become a tourist attraction with visitors from all around the world coming to explore this wonder of the horn of Africa a sign warning visitors about the fragility of this mysterious prehistoric art. Instructing people not to touch it has been erected, but nothing more than that has been done to protect the ancient artwork with Somaliland's de facto status making it more complicated for this Africa's hidden treasure to be listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Safi Godanamamu, Citizen TV. Hargeisa, Somaliland.